I wanted to do a video of how we grow cacao from seed to fruit. We've been growing it continuously for 10 years outside in Florida and we have good luck with it. This is a Trinitoro cacao. I purchased a uh, whole fruit from Montoso Gardens in Puerto Rico. I've been buying from him for 10 years. Uh, never had a problem, excellent source. 100% germination. So we get like five, uh, three gallon or five gallon containers <clears throat> plastic containers and fill them with compost and then our compost that we make that I made a video of it's this eight month old compost a little over eight months and I leave I don't sift it I leave the active organic matter in there which is this stuff you know the stuff that you can identify this is the little pieces of stuff that I use but it's like it's really got lots of stable organic matter and then I you get a, like 70 seeds out of this or 80 seeds out of these large Trinitoro cacao and I just put them with a little bit of the shell in the compost and then pack them in there. I'll probably put 20 seeds in each pot or, you know, 15, I have five pots. So whatever it works out to. And 100% germination. I do water these and I put them up by the house in a sheltered position that gets minimal sunlight, but it does get some sunlight, um, like an hour a day, dappled. And, uh, water it with rainwater. And then I, within like three months, they're ready to plant. They're already like, you don't wanna to have to top dress your, cause this will all go stable. So then in order for it to keep growing, you need to keep adding like some not quite decomposed, you know, some, some organic, some compost that has some active organic matter in it. But I plant them in the ground like within three months after I plant them from seed. This is a tree that's from a plant that I fruited. It's been fruiting continuously, not this tree, but its parent continuously for, I think, eight years. And this tree is flowered this year for the first time. <clears throat> they don't like wind. They don't seem to mind the 31 degrees we got down to. Of course, it's sheltered under this tree a little bit, so. But um, they, They seem to be fine. This is one I planted about from last winter's growing. So I think I planted them in May, could have been June. So almost a year in the ground. Same thing. And then to uh, plant them, I just throw the pots I dump the pot. Into the wheelbarrow, the contents with the trees in it. And then I grab a tree at a time, seedling at a time. And I put the shovel in the ground and I put the tree behind the shovel, the roots. I pull the shovel out and I stamp this, the dirt once. And 
this is a Trinitoro. We have about 80 that we planted last. spring in the ground and um, we don't really worry about we just try to focus on soil health at all times because it's sand here so you constantly have to manage for soil health so you got to keep it covered you got to keep the soil covered and um, these trees trees do not seem to mind being planted in grass the soil is uh, Let's see what it looks like. This is what the soil looks like. This is considered fine sand. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Cacao is easy and not as cold sensitive as I thought. And we do not water the seedlings. This one I put on water after I planted it for two years after I planted it, but our soil wasn't as good back then. So uh, it's quite exciting because I was told I couldn't grow cacao and fruit cacao outside when I first started 10 years ago. And that's not the case organically.